welcome or welcome back to another episode of DIYing Things. I can't wear until the <coughs> pachanga is over, but I'm still making it anyway. If you would like to see how I made these beautifully extra stretch velvet long gloves, stay tuned. We'll start off by making the pattern. I started by marking the length of where I wanted my gloves to be. I measured from my middle finger to almost up to my armpit because I wanted them to be pretty long. Be pretty long. Then the bicep measurement divided by two at the bottom. After the length of my hand, middle finger to the bottom of my palm. followed by marking half of my wrist measurement. Taking it back to grade school and tracing my hand, but instead of making a turkey, we'll be getting a glove. I went back and cleaned up the lines And you can see I also added some seam allowance. The thumb pattern will be made by cutting it off of the original pattern and adding half a centimeter seam allowance to the bottom edge and to the curve where it was cut from. The rest of the arm has a one centimeter seam allowance with the fingers all having half a centimeter seam allowance. And once our pattern is done, it's time to cut it out of our fabric. Only sew where the pins are and do not sew where the thumb is yet. And remember your different seam allowances. Sew them together using a zigzag stitch if you are also using a stretch fabric like I am. Also, I would recommend to take your time when sewing around the fingers so you don't have to go back and re-sew like I had to. Since there's kind of some long pauses in this video, I just felt like it would be kind of nice for me to explain my reasoning on why I'm making gloves. Coming from Vegas to a place that's relatively cold, I feel like gloves are like the perfect fashion accessory to transition your summer clothes to winter clothes depending on how cold the place you live is. But they're also just like a snazzy way to uh, to spice up an outfit, I don't know. Uh, I've always loved gloves. I've been following this brand on Instagram called Tea The Label, and I would definitely love to make videos that recreate their gloves if I can, and I might in the future. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's, let's get glam with some gloves, guys. Next onto the thumb. Sew all around with a zigzag stitch. blocked part of what I was doing so I hope you guys can still tell but I took my sleeve while it was still inside out thumb right side out pointing downwards and clipped it together on a sewing machine, I ended up sewing
sewing it by hand because I get frustrated very easily. the arm part smaller because I have noodle arms. I then moved on to sewing the hem of the arms. Before pinning the hem, remember to leave a gap so that you can thread some elastic through before closing it off with a zigzag stitch. And the elastic is optional. If you feel like you don't need it, you don't have to put it. But like I said, I have very gangly arms. So I'm putting some elastic in just to double check that they don't slip and they don't fall. Uh, but yeah, if you don't need it, you don't have to use it. So then this would be your last step of just sewing the hem in one continuous zigzag stitch. have it some beautiful gloves thank you so much for watching please comment and subscribe and i hope you have a great day bye